Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. So today we will discuss about Cartesian product or cross product. Even can be called as a cross product or Cartesian product. Don't get confusion with the word called Cartesian product or cross product. And it will be represented like this. Now remember one thing. In the last video we have discussed about the set operators like set union, set intersection, set difference. What we have mentioned is, if you want to apply the set of operators like union, intersection, difference, they sh the two relations should be union compatible. Meaning is that the number of attributes should be same and the similar attribute should be also, the domain of the similar attribute should also be same. Is it clear? Now we are saying that if you want to apply the cross product or Cartesian product between two relations, they need not to be union compatible. Meaning is that the degree should not be same, meaning is that the number of attributes should not be same and the domains also need not to be same. Is it clear? So you can ask me sir where this cross product or Cartesian product operator will be useful. If you want to combine the two relations then it will be useful. Where you can need to apply the combine? Why I should apply the combine operator? If you want to retrieve the information from the two tables. Let's say that you have a student table and you have a like a, uh, what you call the, your personal information is there. Your marks, students marks are there in some way and students personal information is there. Suppose if you see that in hostel office you will have your personal information like what is the student roll number, in which room, in which hostel he is staying, in which room he is staying, what is his parents information, what is the parents phone number, what is the local guardian, where he is from, what is the blood group, any problems, health problems he has, all this information will be there in the student table, means in the hostel office of the student. When it comes to the academic section, academic section will only have your marks, which college you have studied previously, what is your plus two percentage, all these things they have. Now let's take that someone like uh, a chief warden or some faculty want to retrieve the information by combining both the tables your marks he want and he want your personal information then he has to combine the two relations and has to retrieve the information is it clear so in those cases you will use the join operator if you want to use the join operator join operator is nothing but a combination of cross product and selection operator we will join operators will discuss later but why i want to say is that if you want to use the join the basic operators for the join is the cross product if you apply the cross product and then apply the selection it will be a join operation okay so the cross product is useful for you to combine the two relations now if i combine the two relations what are the attributes list you will get if you apply the r cartesian product s the attributes which are present in relation r the relation R, what are the attributes are there? A, B, C and also the attributes which are present in relation S will come. The first thing, remember the thing, if the degree of the relation R is M and the degree of the relation S is N, then R Cartesian product S will have degree as M plus N. Note this point. Okay, if the relation R is having the degree as M, relation S is having the degree as M, then the degree of R cross S or R Cartesian product S will have M plus N. If you see that R degree is 3, S degree is 2, degree is what? The number of attributes. If you see R Cartesian product S, you have the degree as 5. Okay. And what about the number of tuples? Please listen carefully. If you are combining, how it will be combined as the 1AB will be first combined to 1E1 then 1AB will be combined with 2E2 means all the combinations it will do means one tuple in the relation R will be combined with all the tuples in the relation S okay if you see in this case 1AB will come 1E1 1AB and 2E2 so each tuple in the relation R will be combined with all the tuples in the relation S now if you see the next one, 2BC will be combined with 1E1, 2BC will be combined with 2E2. Now I want to ask one thing, if the, if you have, let's take that, here I have 2, suppose if I have 3 tuples, 
okay and here if i have two tuples how many i will get each tuple in this one will combine with this one so i will get six tuples am i right or wrong in this case if you see that i have two tuples here i have two tuples so i got r cartesian product as i got four tuples so what i want to say is that if the or if the car number of tuples in the relation r is n and the number of tuples in the relation s is m then the number of tuples in r cartesian product s will be n into m remember this one okay so if the number of tuples in the relation r is n and the number of tuples in the relation s is m then the number of tuples in r cross s will be n into m okay so in this case 2 into 2 four tuples we got in the relation r cross division product s okay is it clear so i hope you have understood now i want to ask one thing whether r Cartesian product is equal to S Cartesian product S or not? Yes, they are equal. Is it clear? The order of the attributes may be changed, but the tuples and the degree of the both are same. Okay. So I hope you have understood about the Cartesian product. If you have not understand, I request you to go through the video again for a better understand. And I please request you that go through the videos in a sequence for better understand because here I am using the words called degree all these things but maybe in this video I would have not explained them properly but in earlier videos when I am discussing them I would have explained in a very proper way is it clear are you able to understand it or not okay thank you so much